Fuck the Pope. G'day. I thought it was time to have a little talk about my views on the current situation regarding the truth about the shape of the earth. If the opposition can talk and not show anything, why can't I? But I will show something. I'll show you some nice pretty views of my surroundings. I know it's pointless debating some people, but what's really fun is slapping them in the face with observable evidence, which has been collected from our own observations. I'm not going to bother with the obvious points here about science regarding all the questions that have already been answered. Instead, I want to approach things from a truth seeker's perspective. When I started debating Flat Earthers, the one point that kept coming up was most of us aren't trying to find the truth about the shape of the Earth ourselves. Most of us ballers are just accepting what science tells us. And to me, that is completely fine and normal because I've followed science closely for over 20 years and science didn't always tell me what I wanted to hear, it just told me what was. But my point is, if the Flat Earthers think we're all just believing whatever science tells us, shouldn't an average person who's not a scientist or affiliated with NASA be able to go out into the world and start making their own observations? Well, yes, of course they can. It's not like I can launch a GoPro into the stratosphere. Well. Not yet anyway, but I certainly can make observations of the Earth from the ground to see if what I find matches science or to see if it matches what the Flat Earthers say. And just to make one point really clear, it was the Flat Earthers that dared me to do my own observations, which I did. They didn't of course, they just made more memes. I can make all kinds of observations. I can test perspective and the vanishing point. I can track the sun and the stars. I can also match my local weather to satellite images and I can see if distant objects fall below the horizon. Not to mention all the indoor experiments that can be made, but there's heaps of people already doing enclosed experiments, so for now, I'd rather just go out into the world and observe the very thing we're trying to test, the Earth. I understand that most people are way too busy with life to even bother doing their own observations. But I have this unnerving feeling that if Flat Earthers are left to spread their ideas unchecked, a lot of potentially smart, young, impressionable people will fall down the rabbit hole and waste half of their life. Not to mention where some crazy beliefs can take people. The word militant and cult spring to mind. So I, Wade's Underworld, make it my duty to make as many real-world observations from the Southern Hemisphere as I can. Mr. Wolfie6020 has Western Australia already covered. So, I'm taking Eastern Australia in the name of amateur science. This is America. Fuck Trump. The next full-scale real-world observation I'm planning involves a lighthouse, a small mountain, and a large dose of frontal curvature. I've got a couple of viewing locations already scouted out. They're relatively in line with each other, ranging from about 10 meters to 160 meters in elevation. The distance to the lighthouse is about 50 kilometers, pretty much at the boundary of its range. The lighthouse sits on a small headland and the height of the light is about 75 meters. I want to see how much of the headland falls below the horizon and also see how much of a difference, different weather conditions affect the overall appearance of the headlands drop below the horizon. From what I've noticed in other observations, refraction really doesn't make that much of a difference and it's fairly easy to notice. It only affects say about 10 meters of the overall object. Now this observation isn't southern hemisphere specific, but it's winter here and most days the horizon is fairly haze free, so it's a good time of the year for this type of observation. After the lighthouse frontal curvature video, I'll probably do a dedicated star observation with some nice star trails of the southern pole region and show those upside down constellations in greater detail. And I'd like to finish off the year with a more in-depth sun observation, but this time show exactly where the sun rises and sets during summer with some nice time lapses and I thought even putting a real compass in screen because using an app is pretty pointless seeing as the flat earth will say it's fake. So I'll get a real compass and put it in front of the camera, then everyone can see how the path of the sun in the southern hemisphere completely destroys the flat earth phony model.
if you're still watching you're awesome if you're still watching and haven't subscribed what the hell are you doing subscribe now will you i really appreciate it i've got some important thank yous to do firstly red's rhetoric thank you so much for reviewing my r satellites real video that was huge absolutely huge on your live stream that was amazing I've been watching your vids for a while now and to hear you talk about my channel and vids was a huge moment. It pushed me over 100 subscribers. Awesome. Now to my amazing subscribers. In first place, the USA, 36 subscribers. Wow, that is just freaking awesome. Thank you guys, thank you so much. Second place, United Kingdom, 36 subs. Thank you, Scotland, England and Wales. You're awesome. In third place, we have Australia with 15 subscribers. I don't even think I know 15 Australians, but hey, I'm sure I do, but awesome. In fourth place, Canada, six subscribers. Well done, thank you. In fifth place, we have India with four subs. Now, I get a lot of views from you, India. I really love you guys, and come on, we need a few more from you. In sixth place, we have Ireland with three subscribers. Thank you, and fuck the Pope. These next countries have two subs from each. We have... Germany, Spain, France, Norway, New Zealand, Sweden, and Thailand. Thank you so much. And lastly, we have the countries that have one subscriber from each country, but you still get a personal thank you because I really do appreciate it. We have Austria, Belgium, Brazil, Switzerland, Denmark, Finland, Indonesia, Netherlands, Philippines, Poland, Slovenia, and the Ukraine. Thank you to all of you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. It's an incredible amount. It blows my mind. I know it's only 115 and people think, wow, but seriously, it's awesome. Peace to all of you. Thank you so much for reviewing my ass.